Hello and welcome everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the compression and archiving techniques used in Linux. For compression, we use the command known as zip, the gzip and the bzip2. And for archiving the files in Linux, we use the command line utility known as star. So let's first take a look at the three different compression techniques. So we're having a file known as test.txt. First, we will compress this file using zip utility. So the command to compress a file using zip is zip hyphen r. The name you want to give after the file is compress. So dot zip is the extension for the zip compression utility. And lastly, the file name which you want to compress. So hit enter. You can see the file is compressed using the zip utility. Now, the equivalent command to unzip this file is simply unzip and the file name. So, we are already having a text.txt, so it will uh, ask you to replace it. I will replace this file. So, you can see there is a text.txt here present. Now, the second utility is the gzip. So, to zip a file using gzip, Sorry, to compress a file using gzip, you need to type in command gzip and the file name. But the difference between the zip and the gzip is here when you zip a file, it will create a completely different file leaving the original file untouched. But with the gzip utility, it will directly compress the file and it will replace that existing file with the compressed file. So you, here you can see you have test.txt.gz.gz is the extension for the files compressed using gzip. So to unzip the, to un decompress the file using gzip, you need to just type in g gunzip. That is the g and the unzip and the file name. So here you can see now it will also re completely replace the previous file. It will not uh, leave a separate copy of the original file. The next utility is the bzip2. So to compress a file using bzip2, the command is bzip2 and the file name. So here you can see this utility will also replace the original file with the compressed file and the equivalent command to decompress the files which are compressed using bzip2 is that's bunzip2 space the file name so it will compress it. So in this way you compress and decompress the files using zip, unzip and bzip2 now let's move toward archiving of files. Archiving files done using the command known as star. So if you want to compress a file, the test.zip, what you need to do is you need to type in tar cbf. Here c stands for creating an archive. And the name after the file is archive. So I'll give this test.tar. And dot, dot tar is the extension for the archiving utility tar and the file name. So it's test.zip. So here you can see you're having a tar file which is the archive created from the zip file. You can also verify the contents of the tar file using the command tar. Instead of C, you will be using T. So here you can see you're having only one file test.zip into tar. Star is a very powerful utility for compression as well as archiving. So if you want to compress a file and then archive a file, you can also do this in a single command in tar. So let me show you. To compress and then archive a file, you need to fire this command. Your C stands for creating an archive file and Z stands for compressing the file using the gzip utility. So here I'll give the name 
test.tar.gz the extension first it will create a tar file and then it will compress the file and I'll give tar file so here you can see you are having a test.tar.gz this means it is an archive with a compression utility of gunzip you can also untar this by following the same command that is the tar instead of c you need to type in x z d f and then the command the sorry the file so here you'll have test does the once again so for creating you need c and for extracting you need x and z is for compression using gzip to compress an archive of file using bunzip2 there is a slightly different command slightly different option for creating you need cjvf instead of z and the command is tar.bz2 and the file name which you want to so here is the bz2 is the extension for buns bz and to untar same command instead of c you need to have x so you have the zip extracted in this way you can compress the files using three different utilities and then you can archive a file using tar or you can simply use the command to compress as well as archive the file tar is a very powerful utility you can compress the file and archive the file in a single command instead of first compressing the file using the utility and then creating an archive using tar i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing